What's going on, guys? I want to come on here and give an update about the whole Jesse Smollett situation. The black actor who's a member of the LGBT community. As you know, last month he said he was uh, hit uh, attack. Uh, it was in a racial attack and all that stuff, or racial slash homophobic attack. And he said uh, it was two white guys wearing MAGA hats and all that stuff uh, that attacked him. And said they said she said they put a rope around his neck and all that stuff, and they beat him. He had broken ribs, and they were saying this is MAGA country. And basically, it has just come out that police said they didn't find any uh, attackers yet. And his story is looking kind of shady. And the only two people they found around were like homeless people and whatnot. And not only that, he has been resilient and turning in his phone uh, records so that the police could uh, uh, go through his phone records. They actually had to get a subpoena for him to surrender his phone by force, of course. Well, by law, sorry. And I'm going to read into some tweets and I'm going to play this video for you uh, just to let you know, because to me, I don't believe this story because he said he was beaten. First of all, during the vortex thing in Chicago and all that stuff, that snow vortex thing in Chicago. It, shit. So this is the first tweet coming from Emily Zanotti. CPD has suspended, has subpoena Smollett's phone records per a friend of the force. Justin, two persons of interest in relation of, to Jesse Smollett's attack in Chicago turned out to be homeless. There never, were never near Smollett. Smollett also didn't have any broken rib, as he claimed. He also still refused to give his phone to police, despite claiming he has uh, it has evidence on it. This is the second tweet by Raff, R Raffer Regal. Regal. Hashtag Chicago Police Superintendent, I'm guessing. Superintendent Eddie Johnson says, Hashtag Jesse Smollett is still being treated as the victim in this case. But if the investigation does reveal to be he made a false report, he will be held accountable. Now, you know what's funny? It's for some reason, black men always got to come in for some whooping. You had the LGBT community, including some fully gay now, guy by the name of Trey Melvin. He's a YouTuber, as di and this is a commentary. At first, he came out as bisexual, and I still watch his uh, YouTube uh, channel because he was funny, but I stopped watching him a while ago. He came out, he was just calling, calling straight black men all types of N-words for not speaking out against it. Meanwhile, Tarina Sheed, me, Phil from the Advice Show, who are... Uh, uh, the Via Vi show, um, Harvey from Your World, and multiple and Tori and Ray Reloaded, multiple black men spoke, or straight black men spoke about it. But, you know, in his case, we were just all N words for not speaking about it. What they really want is either, it's two things. One, for all uh, black men, including straight black men, to be gay. Or two, if we're not going to be gay, at least to speak out for us, for them. And by speaking out, I mean like throwing ourselves under the bus to be in the street, really angry about their cause and all that stuff. But they're never here for us. Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. But at the end of this, but this is the end of my commentary of this video. And I'm going to play a video from a new slip that I got from Lovely T 2002. Yes, I follow her. And that's it. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Raising doubts as Chicago police work to find the two men who allegedly attacked Jesse Smollett. They say the actor has refused to turn in his phone as his neighbors now begin to question the attack. We'll turn to Chris Spargo in our New York newsroom. And Chris, how is Jesse Smollett responding to people who are now starting to doubt his side of the story? Well, Jesse, Chicago police are now saying that they have received records from Jesse Smollett, but they're insufficient. The Empire Star handed over information from his phone as requested by officers, but it was heavily redacted, they claim. It did not contain information that was useful to their ongoing investigation. Police would also neither confirm or deny whether they plan to request the call records from the phone company, however, as is standard practice in these cases. And the Chicago PD has previously said that it has no reason to believe that Smollett or anyone else who has given statements about the attack is lying. Chris Spargo in New York, thanks.